We have seen a lot of mechanical keyboards here on the channel, but it seems like every single time I do a video on one, three more interesting keyboards come out. In front of me, this is the MK Retro from Ozio. It comes in at $110, and it's a typewriter-inspired keyboard. And if you wanna win this baby, all you gotta do is one, subscribe to the channel, two, like this video, and three, comment literally anything down below. And when the video reaches 5,000 likes, I'll announce the winner in a comment down below. So starting with an overview, on the top we have this really sleek looking glossy finish. I don't normally like glossy plastic, but here it really just looks classy and good. Around the whole side of it we have this chrome plastic trim that really makes it look classy, and at first it looks like it's like shiny metal or something definitely plastic. Around back we have these huge kind of weird rubber feet and at first I was like they don't even have raised feet but they are raised feet you have to like twist it and you spin it and then the rubber comes out and it ends up being raised which is an interesting way of implementing raised feet but it does work pretty well so I don't really have complaints there. And then around the back you have a nice thin braided USB cable. I really like to see braided cables that are thin and not too thick. Good job there. Honestly, this thing just screams like the future in class. It looks absolutely phenomenal. It's all smooth and shiny and stuff. Once you touch it, you feel the plastic and it definitely doesn't feel quite as premium as it looks, but I'm a huge fan of the look. In terms of the key layout, it's pretty standard, which I'm happy to see. The enter key on the right side is a normal length. The shift keys are normal. Backspace key is normal. A nice long space bar. I'm glad they didn't mess with anything because I hate when companies do that. Taking a look at the keycaps, they are circular with a chrome trim, so they continue the, like, the cool, futuristic, and shiny look, and they are concave, so they dip in a little bit, so your fingers rest just perfectly in there. It's really great. So taking a look at the switches underneath, this is where things get interesting. So the keycaps, instead of just the, the stem being inside of the keycap, the stem protrudes from the keycap, and then the switch itself is kind of recessed into the plastic cover, so it's not like exposed or anything, and it's an off-green color. It is definitely a blue clone, but it is an off green color which is a little weird. I haven't seen any company put their switches in like this and that is going to mess with compatibility with uh, third party key sets which I don't love but with this keyboard you're going for the typewriter look so it's not a huge deal that you can't change out the keycaps. But what mechanical keyboard video would this be on MS Tech without a typing test? All right, 123 words per minute, MS Tech seal of approval. Conclusion time, it is not cheap at $110. Most mechanical keyboards that I use on the channel and show are like under 50 bucks. So does it justify that price point? No, it really doesn't. Unless you have a very specific setup that's appropriate for this typewriter futuristic inspired keyboard. If you have a black and chrome setup, this would be perfect. It could be the perfect finishing touch there. But for the majority of setups, this won't really fit. If it fits for you, great, it'll be worth it. But for most people, it just does not justify that $110 price point. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content, and as always.